While the general election saw a slightly higher number of voters than in earlier August primary, incoming ballots still fell far short of expectations coming out of the state office of elections. KRTV4's Aaron Coogan joins us live from the Capitol this morning. Now, Aaron, as of late last night, only 41 percent of registered voters had their ballots cast and counted. Good morning, Aaron. Do you have any... Yeah, hey, good morning to you, Cynthia. Well, per the Office of Elections, you know, the final results not going to be expected until later this afternoon. They're still about an hour or two away from processing the 20,000 votes that they picked up from the city and county of Honolulu at 3.30 this morning, and then another 12,000 ballots they're going to have to pick up from the city and county of Honolulu that still have to be verified, you know, signatures and stuff like that. But those 32,000 outstanding votes, even with those added to the current count, you know, that only accounts for 44 percent total voter turnout. So, of course, again, very low voter turnout. And as you mentioned, Cynthia, statewide, the Office of Elections to this point has processed just over 353,000 ballots. But that's compared to Hawaii's more than 861,000 registered voters. Unsurprisingly, Oahu made up the majority of those votes. 68% of cast ballots coming from the city and county of Honolulu, upwards of 43% of registered voters here got their ballots in. But if we're looking at those numbers, compared to past years. The spike in the 2020 general election, seeing 70% of Oahu's registered voters turning out, were really able to put into perspective that dramatic dip in civic engagement. Take a look at this graph depicting the statewide voter turnout over the last five elections. That 41% accounted for this year, the lowest turnout with more than a 10% margin from the second lowest general election back in 2014. This more so surprising with the state's addition of that mail in voting process and just how much was at stake this election season. All 76 of the legislature, two mayor, uh, county mayor spots, major OHA positions and Congress seats all up for grabs. Of course, we're going to be hanging out here at the Capitol and waiting for that third printout and additional numbers. We're going to have all those details um, coming up on KITV. For now, reporting live, Aaron Coogan, KITV4 Island News.